Glory, hallelujah. There are times in our life when we feel as if everything is such a mess. Every area of our lives have turned upside down, inside out. There is storm on every side. Mistakes you have made that you wish you could go back in time and correct. Decisions that you made that have lasting effects on your life. And you wish that you had enough sense enough wisdom, enough strength, enough knowledge to have made a different decision at that time. And so with everything going on around you, the spiritual battles and even some things that you are enduring that you cannot even utter or speak of and or share with anyone that only you and God can speak about, can communicate about in that secret place. There are times we feel like this. There are times we go through this kind of a situation and then you wake up feeling heavy not knowing how to plan your day, not knowing what to do. You've got to go to work. You've got to go to school. You have business ahead of you to accomplish. Important tasks and goals to be met. Yet you just feel like staying home, locked up in a room and crying. These days will come. It is indeed a part of our journey in life, our Christian journey. Because we try so much at times to control our lives. The word of God says, in all our ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. Oh, we try to apply this to the big things in our life, but the little things, we just think we have the control, and so we just take the reins, we take the driver's seat, we take a handle off the steering wheel, and then we come to a crash spot. And then we come to a level of brokenness because of the sorrow we may feel, because of the disappointment we are experiencing. But in spite of the enemy trying to come at you with different situations, in spite of the fact that you may have made a wrong choice, or a wrong move. In spite of it all, don't stay in that feeling. Look to God. God says he is the restorer of your soul. So if you feel lost and empty, God is able to restore you. That even though you had done wrong, it could be that it was a sin you committed. It could be that you made a wrong choice and you hurt someone. It could be that you made a wrong business decision. It could be anything. God is able.
able to restore. It feels painful, no. It feels hurt. It feels very painful. But know that this brokenness is where God wants you. He says in Psalm 51 that the sacrifices of God are for broken spirit. A broken and a contrite heart he will not despise. And do you know why? It's because when you are broken, when you are in a state of brokenness, you recognize that you are not in control. You are weak. You have become weak. Your flesh has become weak. And your flesh is in sorrow of not being able to control what is happening to you for your own pleasure. And this means that you going to God in this moment of brokenness means to God that you recognize that he is sovereign, that he is all-powerful, and that he is the master of your life. You can be broken but not go to God. You can be broken but still prideful. But when you are broken and you draw yourself to God, and if even it means days in this brokenness, weeks in this brokenness, months in this brokenness, this is where God wants you. Because there are times when we are so caught up in our own self and in our own ways and God wants to destroy your flesh. He wants to break your flesh. And we as human beings, we don't easily allow for the Holy Spirit to break us. And so God allows us situations to occur so that we have no other choice but to be at his feet, to be on your knees in prayer, to lay at his altar, to be at the foot of his cross. So if you're feeling broken right now, it may feel like the worst thing because that is your flesh being broken. That is your will being broken and making way for the will of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit for the will of God to try your mama to triumph and to take preeminence in your life. Flesh be broken does not feel pleasurable. It does not feel comfortable. It's a deep sorrow that you feel in your heart. And feeling of just wanting to lay out before God and just crying unto him and asking him why. Asking him why God. And then he will turn that why into take me Jesus. Take me into the holies of holies. Remold me and reshape me in your likeness, God. 
Let me know what it is that you want to teach me in this situation. What is it that I ought to learn, Almighty God? What area of my flesh is it that needs to go, that needs to be destroyed, that needs to be broken away from me, God? And know that when you submit yourself to him and surrender to him and asking him to take your heart, know that it gets better from here on. Know that this is when new oil is being poured out upon you. Know that this is when You'll be taken to a higher level in God. Know that this is when your mind is being renewed. Because now you have allowed for the Holy Spirit to take control of your mindset. Know that God is doing a new thing in you. Deliverance does not feel like a jumping and shouting and screaming of joy. But deliverance comes in the form of brokenness. of a good ending. Know that you will not forever be feeling shame because you have allowed the Holy Spirit to enter into your heart. Know that if you go to him broken, old you are, no matter how mature you may feel you are. Let go of pride and release yourself in brokenness and tears before God. He said, dry nigh, draw nigh unto me and I will Know that God is and he is doing his bidding.